Hello everyone and welcome back to New Things. I'm Justin, your host, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of playing here. We have this Rock and Gym Dig Kit, sponsored by Smithsonian. It says here, excavate and identify gemstones and minerals. Chip away to discover 11 real gemstones and minerals. Learn how rocks and minerals are formed. That includes a sandbox. Uh, containing 11 gemstones, minerals or rocks, one mallet, one dowel, one pair of goggles, one streak plate, one magnifying glass, one storage pouch, and color poster with instructions. I think I picked this up for anywhere from 12 to 20. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but it was Christmas and it was on sale for all those little scientists out there who want to learn how to excavate. Let's see what we got. Oh, there's more tape on there. Let's see. All right. Open sesame. It's an open sesame. There's the poster. There's a little extra cardboard. Okay. Here's our brick of dirt. And what else is in here? Okay, there's our tools. First things first, always look at the instructions. This is folded in a way where you can easily rip it, or it's wet, I can't tell. Oh, it's wet. Stuck together, okay. Ooh. Yeah, it's kind of wet. Alright, so, right there's a big old tiger's eye. Uh, it tells you its physical properties, its hardness, scale, its cleavage, which means when it's broken, uh, its color, the streaks that are in it, and the luster, which is the brightness. Uh, here's how to identify different types of stones. I'm talking about igneous, metamorphic, sedimentary, uh, meteorites. Is it a rock or a mineral? Uh, the hardness, cleavage and fracture, the color, the streak and luster. Okay, so here's our instructions. Uh, what's included? Goggles, streak plate, mallet, dowel, sand block, storage pouch, magnifying glass. Alright, so first we need to set up a clean area with a hard flat surface where you can do your work. Cover the area with newspaper to protect the area from dust of the sand block. Have all your tools handy in the work area. Alright, so I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so we have our tools set up and ready to go. Got our mallet, our dowel, our block, our little bag here, our scraping plate, magnifying glass, and these are the children's size goggles. I don't think they would quite fit me. I know someone who they might fit though. One second. Ah yes, that's better. My little dragon friend. Perfect fit. Nice and protected. So let's see what our next step is. Place the sand block on the table and carefully use your wooden mallet and dowel to begin scraping away parts from the block. Never bang away from the sand block as that can be dangerous. When you begin to see a stone through the sand, keep going. Dig around, hmm, dig around and on the sides of the stone, being careful not to scratch or crack the stones. Once you have freed the stones, you may want to use a bowl of water to 
rinse the remaining sand from them. Follow these same steps to unearth all of your rock and gemstones. A good geologist knows that his or her work may take a long time. Be patient and keep digging. You should find 11 stones in total. Store your gems and rocks in your bag. So I say, let's get cracking, if you will. Okay, so, we're supposed to take our dowel and scrape. Ah, I see. It's almost like it's a plaster. Okay, so we have our first gemstone here, and this plaster is actually very difficult to punch through. I tried hammering and it just wouldn't go through. Well, let's take a look at this bad boy here. It's very small, less than the size of my fingernail. Same size as my pinky fingernail. We'll identify that later. Let's keep going. Okay, with a little hard work and effort, and some dirty hands, we were able to find all 11 stones. So let's go ahead and throw these stones into our handy dandy pouch. And then we'll clean up a bit. And then we'll try and identify them a little bit. So. See you in a minute. Alright, so we've got our hands and our stones washed and cleaned. Now's the time to try and identify them. Uh, there's only six listed here. Hmm. But you can figure out 
what they might be from the hardness of them, that's where the rubbing stone comes in hand. So we've got our 11 stones. Here is a <clears throat> opaque white stone. All of these have been polished and tumbled. Dear customer, thank you for purchasing. Hmm. Okay, so your kit contains five gemstones and six different samples. Okay, under good light, use your magnifying glass to inspect them. Distinguish the minerals from the rocks and test the minerals for hardness and streak color. Okay, so also says it can be very difficult, but it's worth trying. So we'll start with our opaque white stone here. And let's give it a hardness test, see what that tells us. Well, the hardness shows up as opaque white, meaning it could be <clears throat> orthoclase. Okay, so let's see if we can find the pyrite that's in here. Well, unfortunately I don't see any pyrite. Alright, let's find the basalt, which is an igneous volcanic rock. Well, this doesn't look like basalt either. Okay, let's find the sandstone. Well, it says this pink is sandstone, but honestly I don't think it's sandstone either. Um, I guess I'll just give some final words about this. Uh, this is a neat little kit. This will definitely keep your kids occupied for at least an hour. And <laughs> how nondescript these uh, classifications are, it could you can have your kids trying to guess what they are for hours, to be honest. Uh, but this is a real neat little kit. If your if your kid likes science, um, archaeology minerals, gemstones, anything. They would really love this kit. I'd, I'd say it was worth it. It was fun to dig through. I, I rushed it a little bit, used some strength to break it up because it is kind of tough. Um, but yeah, this was pretty fun. See you guys.